Hello, welcome, Murdering Matlock. Our first radio play. A Porsche rolls up to a towering hotel in the bright, sunny day. Out steps a tall and burly man with a, a prominent moustache, smoking a pipe, wearing a tweed jacket. A tall, slim woman stands behind a, a white, shiny checkout desk with a, a board of keys behind her. I want to recognise you. You, John Wiseman. I've seen all your films, all your TV shows. I'm a big fan. Uh, I have no time for your silly gushing woman. Uh, what makes you think I have time for this? I'm a very, very busy man. Uh. I've never been insulted in my life. Well, there's a first time for everything, toots. <laughs> I can just kill him. <laughs> Uh, hello, barman! Barman, or bar person, whatever you meant to say these days. I'll have a uh, triple scotch on the rocks, whatever you're ready. By the way, thanks for taking the acting job away from me. I needed to pay the bills. It could have been my big break. Oh, hard cheese, old chap. I'll tell you what, though. Even if you had got the part, you would have just embarrassed yourself. Uh, not much of an actor, are you? <laughs> oh, thank you, cretinous moron. In walks the manager. Hello, John. Do you want to come to the office and talk finances after your drink? OK, because of the mine. I'll see you shortly. Enjoy your stay. I'm the manager, Robert Porter. Thank you very much, Robert. John Wiseman and the manager walk into the office and bump into the bellboy. He's wearing a, a red blazer, white shirt, black trousers, red bellboy cap and green tie. Here's the books again, uh, cousin. Do you want to have a look at them? Well, I can have a look at them, but I don't know what good it will do. I'm not going to do anything to help you. This is your mess. You can get yourself out of it. I'm an actor, not a hedge fund. <laughs> John strided to the dining room for his evening meal, and up jumps a lady in a nice, silken dress who runs up to him and says come and sit down with me oh, do i know you oh, dear. Oh, get away from me you strange woman the verse walks away crestfallen weeping for unrequited love hello john tonight we will be dining on cream and tomato soup with crusty bread, followed by a roast lamb dinner, all the trimmings, and the sweet apple pie and cream. Is your company red wine? Sparkling red wine, eh? Very novel, very strange. I had this before, it's delightful. Oh. Um, well, I'm off to bed. This is all no fun. See you in the morning. I'm awfully tired. While sleeping in his luxurious four poster bed, John Wiseman is stabbed repeatedly ten times. Thank you for listening. I've been the narrator. Thank you. I've been the nurse.
They get killed and they just... Thank you, I'm the hotel manager. Thank you, I've been the man at the bar as well as the narrator. Thank you all for listening. This has been a Burton Street Foundation audio drama called Murder in Matlock. Not named has been the actor for John Wiseman, who was Joe Collins, who also helped with the production. Please tune in to part two to find out the gripping end to this murder mystery. Who killed John Wiseman?